Okay, if you go back to the time of 2019, if you can check the top 10 best selling smartphones ever in the world, this phone is actually one of the top 10 best selling smartphones in the world for the year 2019. Hey guys, Syed here from Box of Tech and welcome back for another video. So today, we will be unboxing one of the most best selling smartphones in the world from or the year 2019, which is the Apple iPhone 11. Why is the iPhone 11 one of the best selling smartphones in the year 2020 on the worldwide record? Number one, it uses the Apple A13 Bionic chipset, which is the latest at that time. And yes, this was the latest series of the iPhone 11, which also has the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, what makes the iPhone 11 uh, had a best selling record is just because of the chipset, performance, color, and also the design. If you can see the processor, it uses an A13 Bionic chipset, which is a chipset that still does not support 5G in 2019, while other Android brands have already supported 5G on that time. Number two, it's because of the design. The design is really nice and hyped for the phone. And I can say, if you can look at the design of the iPhone 11, it's just similar to the iPhone 12, but it has rounded edges. So maybe if you guys like a phone with like rounded edges, not like the iPhone 12, it has like a boxy-ish design, you can pick the iPhone 11 starting at 2,899 uh, ringgit for the 64 gigabyte variant at the Apple Store in Malaysia, or if you can get it in any Apple operated resellers, since we do not have an Apple Store here. Number two, the colors. The iPhone 11, has six variants of colors which is really beautiful great design and also a really kind of like hyped phone so it comes in black white product red that i have right here green purple and also yellow for me i preferly i literally like the red because of the red is like really nice bright not too bright not too dark kind of red which is actually beautiful other than the 10R, which is a bit dark kind of red. And number three, design. It looks similar like the iPhone 10R. If you can see the main differences on the back is the Apple logo in the middle. It has a two camera and it has kind of like a boxy-ish camera model, which has a 12 megapixel wide camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And number four, the screen. The screen is not too big, not too small for 2019 and maybe for this for this year, 2021. It is just the perfect size if you're looking for a smartphone. This comes with a 6.1 inch liquid retina display, which is an IPS LCD display. It doesn't use OLED for like the iPhone 11 Pro and the Pro Max. That uses a Super Retina XDR display, which is an OLED display. So without further ado, let's go to the unboxing. Now you can see the box, yes, the iPhone 11 does not come with the charger, just like the iPhone 12. And fun fact, actually the iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 both have the 6.1 inch display, but if you can see the difference, it's not that uh, different from the size, okay, because why the iPhone, 11, uh, the iPhone 12 has slimmer bezels. Now for the iPhone 11, this is in the color red. It comes with five other colors as I just mentioned just now. On the side, it says iPhone. On the top and bottom, it says Apple. Here it says iPhone 11 and USB-C connector. And yes, because it doesn't have a charging rig. So I got the iPhone 11 red 128. Here's your IMEI numbers and stuff. So now let's hear the ASMR of the unboxing on the iPhone 11. Now opening the box, you can see the phone itself in its beauty and glory as you can see. 
the red is super kind of like a vibrant kind of red which is perfect so we're gonna put the phone aside okay inside it comes with a USB-C to lightning cable as you can see right here and also it comes with this manual uh, instructions that if you can see if you can open this it says here product red in partnership with red Apple will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the global fund to support HIV slash AIDS program and help deliver an AIDS free generation learn more or donate at www.break.org then you have the it's kind of like you know some cute note cards so here you have the sim doctor tool here you have some manuals you have your uh, safety and handling and a single apple sticker so putting that all aside let us peel the phone itself there we go so now booting it up as you can see while it's booting let's see what does it have on the ports and buttons so first on the top you can see your earpiece your face id sensor that you can't really see the 7 megapixel facetime hd camera on the sides you have your mute switch your antenna bars uh, on the top and bottom with the volume buttons on the back it has a glossy kind of finish but the camera is a matte kind of finish you have the 12 megapixel wide and the ultra wide camera of your back microphone and your flash on the bottom you have your speakers and the lightning port on the top you literally have nothing and here is the sim tray so let's see is this a single sim or dual sim because if uh, i'm not mistaken since starting from the iphone 10s it has a dual sim but i'm not sure if in malaysia it is the dual sim uh, variant so opening this up it is dual sim oh no it's a single yeah it's a single sim which is pretty bad yeah it's a single sim and um talking about this i really uh, actually on the sides it has a matte finish which is made out of aluminium and back here it is glass and this is the front screen hello uh and why if you can see the iphone 12 and the iphone 11 if you can differentiate put it side by side the iphone 11 is bigger because it has thicker bezels and it has an edge kind of screen while the iphone 12 has a flat body and a flat screen and also that is why the iphone 12 is it looks a little bit smaller than the iphone 11 but it both has the same 6.1 inch display and also if you can see the iphone 12 the screen is better because it uses uh, an oled display from all the iphone 12 mini to the 12 pro max now let's go to the main specs this phone has a 6.1 inch liquid retina display with an a13 bionic processor which is actually pretty great for the phone and if you guys are looking for a phone for gaming for an iphone this is good for you but yes the battery is a bit small so you i think you really need to bring a power bank like everywhere you go this phone was launched with ios 13 but now it is with ios 14 out of the box which is actually pretty great so you can use this phone for about maybe three to four years i think which is pretty great actually so you do not really have to spend like uh to spend to get a new phone for like one to two years which is actually pretty wasting if you get an android and that is why people like iphones because you can use it for a long now next term. for the main specs we have a the 12 megapixel wide and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera which is basic for the iphone and now let's see the camera quality Now, if you guys really want to see is this phone worth it or not to get on 2021, here is the conclusion and this is where you should know. This phone 
is a great phone but the few uh, pros and cons for the pros it has a great processor which is pretty good for gaming and actually fun fact if you see this phone has 4 gigs of ram but if you go to android with this kind of price you can get a phone like 8 gigs to from 6 to 8 gigs of ram and why iphone ram are so small because why for example if you go to the app store and the google play store on your android phone check on pubg mobile or maybe fortnite before when fortnite was available on iphone fortnite only needs two gigabytes of ram while if you go on an android phone it needs four gigabytes of ram so it's a double the ram and that is why if you see go to android phones any brand on the market it will come like gigantic ram from 8 gigs 12 gigs 16 gigs if you go 16 gigs the ram will be 8 gigabyte on iphone because the from the number android is two times for just the number but the power is just the same number two the camera of course is great due to you know iphone's uh, image processing which is really powerful even though the camera is only 12 megapixel it doesn't mean you can't produce quality pictures or videos number three the screen the screen is literally super beautiful even though it's on an IEPS LCD and now we're going to the cons for the cons it's actually not because of the iPhone 11 it's because of the iPhone 12 that cost this so starting from October 2020 this phone does not include a charger the 10R the SE2020 does not include a charger at all so you have to add uh, approximately $19 in USD and maybe a 99 ringgit for Malaysia's ringgit to buy a 20 watt USB-C power adapter since this comes with a USB-C to lightning not a USB to lightning and for the cons number two um, it doesn't have a headphone jack as so for the price the iPhone adapter. 11 one so gigabyte, gigabyte is going for 3019 ringgit official from Apple's authorized dealers since we do not have an Apple store in Malaysia. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Do you think the iPhone 11 is a great phone for now? Or maybe you'll just take the iPhone 12 or maybe just wait for the latest iPhone instead that is coming this year. It might be the iPhone 12 S or the iPhone 30 according to rumors. So see you guys again. Goodbye.